Your nephew and Miss Tate are proving to be formidable adversaries. And now that the workers have established tethers, it will be difficult to reassert control over their minds. You want me to call on some guys? To shout some old school union busting like they did back in Maitland and Harlan County? No, Frank. I want to go even more old school than that. If the citizens of Riverdale wish to stand united against me, then the price they will pay for their defiance will be truly biblical. And then what happened? And then I shot him. With that gun. The same gun my dad used to shoot your dad. I think everything that I've been feeling lately distills down to this. I fear that whatever was inside my dad, whatever drove him to hurt people, including your dad, that it's inside me too. I'm afraid that one day I might not be able to resist it. that you'll be a victim to that darkness, or at least fearful of it. I'm afraid that you'll look at me one day and decide you won't want to be with me because of who I am, and who I've always been. That's not gonna happen, Betty. Well, you don't know that. But I do. You may not trust yourself, Betty. But I trust you, with my life. Your dad didn't make you a killer. TBK didn't make you a killer. Didn't they? You remember that time we found that baby bird that had fallen from a tree and I had no clue what to do. And you ran into the house, grabbed a shoebox, made a nest out of newspaper. <laughs> we looked after him. We took turns until he was strong enough to fly. I hadn't remembered that until now. All you see is the darkness. All I see is someone who, despite everything that's happened to her, fought and you're still fighting. And the fact that you're even worried about hurting me or anyone else, that shows what's in your heart. Do you believe that? Do you believe me? I think I do. I love you, Betty. I love you too, Archie. Thank you.